Supernatural Life family. This is Revival in Crane's Roost, episode 29 of season two, man. We're already at 29 episodes. That's crazy. Look, I got my boy Anthony over here. He's brought some friends out with him tonight to encounter Jesus. So we're already guaranteed supernatural encounters with these cats. So I'm really excited, man. I love to see people be touched by the Holy Spirit. And I know these guys over here are gonna get really touched by Jesus Christ. So guys, make sure that you like the video because it's gonna push it out into the algorithm and it's gonna make sure that people know about the supernatural life. Share the video for that same reason. Comment just because I'd like to hear what you guys got to say and subscribe, man. Subscribe and hit that bell. All you new people watching right now, subscribe because you don't wanna miss all the good videos coming out and how we glorify Jesus out here in the harvest field and in other ways too on this channel. So guys, also remember this, TSNL Forerunner School. Very important you join the channel and be a part of that. That's only exclusive to members. And also that's gonna make you an affiliate of TSNL and there's a lot of perks that come with that. So just keep that in mind guys. And let's go over here and see what's good with these dudes. <laughs> So what am I praying for? Just for this attack to come off the line? Yes. So, all right. You believe in Jesus? Yes. You love him? Yes. He loves you, bro. I can see his struggle there. I'm going to pray his struggle off of him. I'm going to pray with the Holy Spirit of God. You know? The Lord gives life. And life more abundantly. All right? Father, I thank you for Dion, right? I command right now all the pains of yesterday to disappear. I command right now everything that was locked into his childhood to come out. You feel how your heart's beating fast? Yeah, bro. I command right now, Holy Ghost, get him. Touch him. Yep, there he is. More. More. I command freedom off of him. Now, free, free, free. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. This demonic attack on his life that came in when he was a kid, I command it to come off of him now. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. What do you feel going on in your body as I'm praying? A lot of pressure. Where? It's from when you were young, bro. I see when it happened. Am I right? Yeah. It's when you were little, bro. You got trespassed. You can trespass down here, bro. Right? Yeah, bro. You can trespass against you, bro. And I want to tell you something. God never meant for that to happen, bro. He loves you, bro. But God's going to take that away, man. Very simple. Say this for me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Today I choose you. Today I choose you. Thank you for changing everything. Thank you for changing everything. I want you to change my life. I want you to change my life. And use me. And use me. For your glory. For your glory. I forgive. I forgive. The people who hurt me. The people who hurt me. And I no longer. And I no longer. Want to blame myself. No longer blame myself. For the things in my past. For the things in my past. Today. Today. It's a new day. It's a new day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna pray for all the pressure. He loves you, man. You hear? Yes. He loves you, bro. You ever experienced anything like that? Yes, Good chance for you, man. Amen. 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 All it takes is seeds, man. Amen. You know that, you know. You ready, bro? You ready? You ready for Jesus, man? Ready. All right. Say this for me, then. Say, Jesus, today changes everything. I lay my life down, and I open my heart to serve you. I'm a leader. I'm chosen. Now use me. I repent of all sin. Today, save me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'm going to pray something, alright? You ready? Come on. 
Father, I thank you for Dion. You heard what he said. Holy Ghost, he's yours. Get him. Yeah, fill him, Lord. Demetrius, yeah. Fill him, Lord. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Lord, I, Father, I thank you for his life. I thank you after today, everything changes. Make in front of him a new path, Lord. New friendships. Let everything of the old life die, Lord. Bring all things new. Right now, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Yeah, man. <laughs> Loves you, man. Yeah. You're the last one. <laughs> now look. I need the spirit off here. Right? I feel like the Lord's telling me to tell you stop giving your heart away. Let him have your heart. If you let him have your heart, you won't battle anymore. But you gotta know how to give him your heart. Okay? You gotta let all the father wounds and stuff disappear. Right. Stop putting such a standard of performance on your life too and trying to be perfect. Let him be perfect for you, okay? okay. Now I'm gonna do something for you. Right now, in Jesus' name. I speak right now of this demonic force that's affecting her life. It's causing all this turmoil around her and all this destruction. I command right now, let it go. Let it go. Yep. I got you now. You can't have her anymore. You can't afflict her anymore. You can't make her suffer anymore. Listen to me. Man, right now, this thing is lodged inside of her body. It talks to her, makes her condemn herself, makes her have ha hatred against herself at times, and blame her for things that she hasn't done. You gotta let her go now. Come on right now, every Jezebelic force should come off of this girl's life right now. Out. Out. Yep. Out. I got you. Come out. Come out. All the way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Out. You come out of her right now. You come out of her all the way right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, complete freedom. Let it go, girl. All of it. All of it. All the weight you're carrying. All that stuff. I command the things of the enemy out of you right now in Jesus' name so you can move forward in the things of God. I command complete victory. I command you not to be used. I command no abuse on your life in Jesus' name. Complete victory for her right now. Jesus' name. Every assignment against her family, I command it to be broken off right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, all division, I command it to leave her life right now. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. And all divination, every lie speaking to her mind, I command it to stop right now. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You good? What's going on, guys? What are we doing out here today? We uh spreading the love. Spreading the to love. God. The love of God. Hey, you guys got a little testimony. You want to talk about that? Oh, actually, yes. Yeah, tell, tell us what happened. So, it's our first night, right? <clears throat> and we're getting here waiting on you guys and all that good stuff, right? And we were just, you know, talking between us. And this lady just comes up to us. She's like, you guys have an anointing. And I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and she just started basically, like, talking to us about God and just, like, you know, uh, 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 just kind of confirming yeah. things mm -hmm. that have been said before. Um, that has been said for a long time, actually, and, you know, and it felt it felt amazing because we haven't even started it's our first night. Mm -hmm. We haven't even started, and we're already getting confirmation that we should be here tonight. Wow. And uh, it's a beautiful feeling, you know, knowing that God is watching over us and He's looking at what we're doing, and you know, He's giving us that confirmation that you know what we're doing is the right thing to do. So. Wow. wow, it was a beautiful feeling. Amen. Amen. All right. Yo, so when when I pray for those kids, they're a little surprised, right? Yeah, they, they weren't expecting all that to happen. They just came out here with Anthony, you know, just trying to see what it was about, but they got wrecked with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude was sitting there on the corner like, what happened, he was just man? just sitting there like like his whole life exploded. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, man. I love God this God is guy. good. God is good. Yeah, he is. He is. What about Ed, Uncle Ed? What do we think about Ed? I think that Uncle Ed's a real G for giving me his anointed jacket. You know, yeah. it was cold out here and I left mine in the car. But yeah. Hook me up. Yo, that's true. 
How you doing, Ed? Sacrificer for the team. You don't have to I feel you, bro. You come with eight layers of clothes, man. That's right. <laughs> I check the weather. Yep, check the weather. Right. Speaking of the weather, oh. hi. Prophesy. What's the weather going to be like the rest of the night? <laughs> okay. I'm here like, well, you know, it's going to stay around the same because I like it. Yeah. And Elijah kind of called fire and stuff, so why can't I like, earn the, the whole rain thing? I will just keep it like this in Jesus' name. I like that. You use the Bible. Yeah. See? I've been doing my work. Even though I have a lot of stuff to do, I still get time for the word. That's right. Come on, girl. Yep. <laughs> so, guys, that was pretty wild tonight. Those two guys you guys saw me just pray for had zero idea they were getting prayer tonight. One of them was telling me, he was like, yo, I'm usually like doing bad stuff right now at this time. And I'm literally out here in Crane's Roost getting prayed for. I said, bro, that's how Jesus does, man. He comes and intervenes at the wildest times. And I told him, I said, all it means is that Jesus Christ has a call for you. And he's calling you. He's standing at the door knocking. And he's saying, open the door and let me in. And that goes for some of you guys watching right now. Jesus stands at the door and knocks. And all you have to do is open the door. And he'll come right in and dine with you and have relationship with you. Because he's just a really, really good God. So guys, it was kind of a laid back night out here tonight. I think it's because it's cold. And well, they took all the Christmas decorations down. So I guess the holidays have come to an end for now. But anyway. That just means we got a lot of great things ahead of us. So, guys, with all that being said, remember to once again subscribe. And we'll see you on episode number 30. We're already to 30 episodes on season two of Revival in Crane's Roost. And I think that's because we're about to start traveling a whole lot now. So you guys keep your eyes peeled because we got some awesome Revival series on the way here very very soon. Alright guys, I love you all and I'll see you next time.